So welcome to the Energy Star Talk, Mike Perry. How are you? I'm great. It's fun to be here. Is it actually your first time in Berlin? Yeah, it's. Um, I'm actually not seen Berlin yet because I'm, you know, here. So I'm going going out tonight to to actually watch Berlin. Do you have Do you have some plans already? Uh, no restaurant and maybe some drinks. Yeah, German food or German food, of course. And what do you like about German food? I don't know. I haven't experienced it uh, yet, so I'm going to find out tonight. <laughs> I hope you like it. Me too. And uh, how about your German? Can you speak a bit or I only understand know it? Ich bitte, you know, those fine words. Do you know how to order a beer? No, but I'm going to learn tonight, I promise. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually quite easy because it's ein Bier bitte. Ein Bier bitte. And now you're safe. Yeah. My you will survive. <laughs> my evening night. is uh, rescued. Thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. Um, I've got a little questionnaire for you. So um, because it's your first vis visit here, uh, so we can get to know you a little better. It's really easy questions. First one is your full name, please. My real name is Michael Persson. And um, what's your place of birth? Sweden in a small town called Skövde. And would you say that you're you are uh, a typical uh, Swedish guy? Yeah, pretty much. I guess might be more, um, you know, laid back. A lot of Swedes are really stiff sometimes. Maybe I'm feeling a bit more relaxed. I think. And um, next question is the first record you bought, or the first music yeah. you bought. I'm not quite sure, but I think it was a Michael Jackson record, uh, Black or White. I think that was on it, but I can't remember what it's called, actually. And the first concert you've been to? My first concert, you know, since I'm born and raised with EDM music, my first real concert with a band was actually U2. Hmm. Not bad, actually. No, I mean, that was amazing. And um, the top five artists that you've that that inspire you for your music? Yeah, I will say not in a particular order, but um, Max Martin is obviously the for all you who don't know, it's uh, he produces like everything. Um, and um, I would say this is weird, but Iron Maiden, <laughs> I love their melodies, and um, Michael Jackson. Nowadays, like Sieb is really hitting it up hard, I think. I love them. Um, what else? Justin Timberlake. Was that four or five? Five <laughs> already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I could pick, you know, there's so much uh, talent in the world when it comes to music. So, um, Next question is, a, is a, um, we want to know what you're doing in your spare time. What's your favorite TV show? Or movie? Uh, you know, I'm really digging TV shows. I'm watching too much TV shows. But uh, right now I'm watching Bones. It's an old TV show, but I'm stuck. So, But uh, otherwise, you know, Game of Thrones, um, X-Files. <laughs> yeah, I like those. Do you watch it all in a row or separately? Uh, I try, you know, if it's a short uh, series, I, I, you know, I, I do it all the way at the same time. But like Bones, I think I have... 200 episodes left, so I mean, that's impossible. What's the most episodes you've watched in a row? I believe maybe nine, ten. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, could be mine as well, nine or yeah. ten. But, th but then afterwards you feel a bit sick. Yeah, I mean, uh, but sometimes it's, it's a great emptiness when the series are off, I think. Yeah. Uh, next question is, um, do you have a talents or um, hobbies apart from the music? Actually, no, um, music has always been, you know, a hobby for me until like recently. So that's, um, that's my hobby. I haven't discovered a hobby for my new work yet. And uh, coming from the, the hobbies and talents to the bad habits, do you have any? Yeah, I have some bad habits, you know, not smoking, but in Sweden we have something else called snooze. That's a really bad habit. It's tobacco and it's hard when you travel a lot to because no one else sells it than in Sweden. So it's your tobacco, but it, it's stupid, really. And um, coming to the, to your music now, um, you said it, it was a hobby before. And um, when did you start making music in the first place? You know, when I start, you know, writing my, no my own tracks and all that, um, maybe 
eight years ago or something. But I'm always, you know, play the piano at home for fun or, you know, trying some drums or whatever, but not seriously, but last seven, eight years, maybe. And why electronic music? Why? I don't know, really. I, I was raised in a home with full of rock music, you know, early 70s rock. So that's might be my kind of rebellion, <laughs> listen to e EDM instead. Um, what do you think? Why is Swedish music or Swedish musicians? Why are they so successful? I mean, it's yeah, I mean, that's a really good question. Some say the weather, but I mean, it's it's not that simple. I think we have great, you know, education when it comes to music in school. Uh, we have the opportunity, you know, to try out instruments and that st sort of stuff. And we also have, you know, embraced computers, internet, all that in extremely early age of that era in Sweden. And basically, you know, some guys just managed to pull through the whole way. And um, it's like in Germany, you're great at soccer or football. Uh, or, or, um, and I imagine there are a lot of kids who like to play some football here. It's the, it's the same with music in Sweden. We have, you know, Swedish House Mafia. We have Max Martin, Avicii, you can, name, can go on all day. And there are a lot of kids, you know, trying to be that guy. And um, when you said uh, that you now the music was your hobby and now it's it's your full time job, what have you done before? Um, assembling car engines for Volvo. I mean, it's a decent job. I enjoyed it there, but this is you know my dream, so I'm following it. And 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 so you're not taking just time off. You're using doing that uh, full time. Uh, yeah, um, you know, I was like, I hope you understand me, but bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, they were really nice about it, so there was never an issue. And I think I could come back whenever I want, if I want. And uh, The Ocean, which is your current single, um, is hitting it off really well all over the world. Um, tell us a bit about that song and what it means to you. For me, you know, as a song, it meant a lot because it was a big change for me in sound. I, you know, As I said, I've been into music for some years, but not in in this kind of level obviously uh you know doing in big room house stuff like that before uh, but i needed change so that track changes my sound my everything um and i mean i wanted to do a track that touches in the summer you know you can feel a good track basically and i think uh, i found a way to do that and at peak number one in sweden yeah yeah and how surreal is that from from for you or how, how surreal is that from a scale from one to ten three hundred and forty five <laughs> no no but seriously i mean it's so hard because there were great competition like justin timberlake and he released his track of mine it was kelvin harris you know all those great guys and rihanna i mean she's amazing so it was really surreal because it's hard to you know succeed in your own home, home country sometimes but people seem to like it so and uh, do you remember uh, where you've been when you learned about being number one in, in your home country yeah i was actually in stockholm because i was going to perform at uh, a festival called summerburst so um, i think it was then yeah so we just got it you know four or five hours before the show so I was so excited about the show and this on top of that, you know, it was almost too much <laughs> actually to handle. And uh, now you're traveling with your music. Yeah, I'm starting out to traveling, you know, this is basically my first real trip actually. And um, did you already realize the success? I mean, you, you've been number one and now you're traveling and did it already? You know? I, I, I honestly think that's going to sink in like a year or two. You, you, you know, right now I'm just enjoying every day because something new is always happening. I wake up, I see my mail, something new ha has to be done or so, so it's so fun. And do you know where you, you are going next? <laughs> Honestly, no. <laughs> you know, I got I got this team that's really amazing. I got a team in Sweden, I got a team in Germany. They're really putting it out there for me. They're amazing. And um, what's actually next on your agenda musically? My next agenda is to, you know, put a single out there. I don't know when 
when you know I got a couple of tracks that I'm choosing from that I've you know done now in the last couple of weeks that I'm really enjoying so I don't know wh which to choose for a single but yeah so uh, we wish you very luck with the next single as well and hope you enjoy your trips and thanks for the interview thank you it's so nice to be here <laughs>